Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And right now, it's it's a little bit late at night. And, uh, I just need to relax a little bit. And I thought, you know, I had so much fun with my Torero XO in the last video. In the, uh, in the golf-colored one. I thought, let me get my... Let me take out my, uh, my Matchbox Homage one here. I want to make a couple, just a couple minor changes to it before I take this one racing. I do want to take this out on the track. One, I have an idea for the wheels based on the last one. I want to put some carbons on this. And then, but then give them the paint with the, the lime so that matches. You get a little bit more lime on this car. And then there's the, the spoiler. I put the most minimal spoiler you could on it. And... Interesting thing, I, this was before I realized it had the active spoiler. And I'm not sure how that looks. And since it's part of the active spoiler, I, I don't think you get any benefit here. I mean, I don't know what the mathematics is on it. I don't know if you're supposed to gain... You should, if you put a fixed spoiler on this, have the spoiler effect constantly, not just when it's raised. So, you know, this would theoretically lose the effect in low corners, but I don't know. When it stops, since there's still a spoiler there, do you still get the effect? Eh, we missed that turn. We won't jump it. I'm not going to bother taking it and, and, and parking it in another garage. It's in the garage I want it to be in. So we're just going to take it over here. And I, have to, I have to think about the aesthetics. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? That should do the trick. Yeah, everything's up to speed here. So you get down to spoiler. Now, if you go to none, it does show a, a reduction in traction. Now, if we go carbon wing, though, or forged, that doesn't have the ducktail. That might look a little bit better. I did kind of fall in love with the forged look on the other one. Let's do that. So, theoretically, we have whatever the same bonus, but it has the clean lines that I want here. I could could kind of forge it all the way up. We could do that. You'd start to lose a little bit of the homage though. Would that would that be worth doing? Roof. Oh it might be. Uh let's see. Skirts are already secondary forged. Hood. We well, could just make that pretty consistent all the way through like one giant stripe. Although... I don't see the difference between that and that. There's a little bit of dense there. Okay, let's... Ford slat vented. Funny how one thing leads to another. Trunk. Ford smooth. Ford just a regular Ford vented. Forge ridge line, yeah, let's forge smooth. Or you know what? Let's leave. Let's leave it. That's enough forge. We'll just smooth it out. I'm in an invite only. What the heck could just be exploding outside? 
Nothing. The answer is nothing could be exploding outside. Wheels, wheel type, high end, stock. So you got the carbon S. That looks nice. T carbon, carbon solar. That's a lot of carbon. Carbonic. Ooh, what works best here? I think in the Carbon S Racer, for one reason, then we're going to go to Wheel Color. Oh, that's not nearly enough. I guess that's chromed out. You could give it a little lime green button. Green. At least now we can see where we can get the most. Yeah, the carbon shadows are nice. Ooh. Maybe don't you? Let's just let's just keep looking for whatever the the, the best. Super G's. The Super G's have a nice look to them. So there's your stock wheels. The centers on the Super G's are a little off. That's a little weird looking. GT Chrome might be a little bit more subtle than I originally planned, but that's not bad. Carbon Shadows. The Carbon Shadow might kind of work with the angles of the thing. Well, the Carbonic Z's. Ooh. Carbon solar, that's almost a little too much carbon. That's it. That's I think I think that that goes with it the best. Yeah, I mean that's good, it does throw more green on there. Oh, it's just tough. Like, I like the additional black on it. And the green's not overpowering. Yeah, that's... I wanted a little bit more green, but that might be a bit too much. Ah, yeah, we're going with that. Yeah, the bulletproofs are on. Crew smoke locked. I must still be in, um... Oh, I bet you it's still in the Sprunk crew. I was doing a video with that. Green is not lime. Okay, we'll leave the tire smoke alone. <coughs> Windows are already a light smoke. Bumpers, front bumper. Yeah, I think uh, secondary forge splitter. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to go crazy with it. Don't want to have some ground clearance here, you know. Yeah, we'll forge it up. Why not? Well, thank you. And you know what? The plate. 62 Ruby 441. Eh, not really calling to me. Black Knight. Yellow one black. <coughs> so you're at the... the um, <coughs> Pennsylvania yellow one blue. 
We used to have plates like this. I don't know that. Yeah, again, I don't like that much now. But anyway. Yellow and black. It's, I think, too late tonight, probably, to tell Ray, so we can link this video up with another video. Yeah, that, this is, this is pretty optimal, I think. <coughs> and to the extent that I might, I might change the other one over to the same kind of forged... I have the giant wing on the other one. This will be a little bit lighter in the tail. That actually matters how much mass you put on it. It makes it a little more tail happy if you have a, a you know more mass to control. That way I was rude. Okay, let's uh let's see how this puppy looks in its garage. The matchbox homage garage. I'm really falling in love with these forged carbon parts, but I am glad I left the nose just red. I think, I think we're, I think we're doing pretty good here. Okay, it's not exact, you know, replica of the car that I'm, I'm trying to, you know, try to do an homage for. But none of them are. There are none of them are perfect. But it's still the feeling of being able to drive around. And, you know, something similar to the cars you played with as a kid. And I think that's, that's fun. Well, this one, yeah, I want to do something with this one, too. Now, the only thing I really wanted to reconsider on this one, on this Sterling, is the livery. And I kind of went back and forth on this when I was doing this car. And there are a lot of good liveries. And the trick of the matter is, you know, the 277, although it's more simple than the, the one that I had, does match the style of the numbers on it. 762 kind of does too. Rust bucket, no. I'm thinking the 762 most fits the car. Give me a moment. Yeah, ideally, uh, I'd have a little bit more decoration on this. Some, some blue on the fenders and some more more appliques. That's why I kind of went with this, this other one. Like, that's got, the, that's got the better stripes to it. You like the American stripes. So I want the number of the stripes. 42, yeah, that's... I'm doing, I'm doing Thousand Mile Hero for the, uh... Just because that really does match pretty close to the, the lettering on the car as far as the numbers are concerned. It's missing some stuff, but hey. As you can see, I can always change it. Let's double check here something. I am in... A solo, right? Yeah. So why were things exploding? That's just odd. <clears throat> and then back up into the hills. It's a nice sounding car, nice driving car. I'm gonna swap it back out for the Torero though, because I'm a little bit fixated on that one right now, and that's, you know. Well, I guess I could, in theory, do a thing where <coughs> next set of races I do only these cars. Let's ponder that for a moment.
can I cover all the I can't I can't cover everything with the motorcycles. The motorcycles that's not a thing. But So you have the 762. So we could use that for sports car races. It won't it won't win, but we could use it. I mean, I don't say it won't win. But so classics and sports, that'll be fine. Sedans, this would be competitive. Here's a sedan, right? Yeah, sedans. So we can take the Glendale for any sedan races. Muscles. I'm not going to do the racing dice. I can look this up. Which one's faster? Or do we just want to give them each their own chance? I th they're both mediocre muscles at best. As far as, com you know, the actual performance. And they're both addled by handling flags. They're both available. I can cover a muscle race. Not that whatever comes up. And for the most of the racing, which is mostly supers, I got my car. So that, that, maybe that's going to be the theme here today, folks. So on that note, let's do the time warp again. That's kind of nice. I think that's a, a regular one or a custom. I think it's a custom. Usually the wheels look a little too small on the customs, but that, you know, the, the way he's got it painted kind of works. Okay, just soloed it, and that beat my personal best by like seven seconds. Nice. Guess it helps if I unmute the mic. Okay, here we go. It's plummet. We're going to be plummeting. I think this is the first time I've taken the, the XL on plummet. This will be interesting. I mean, non-contact. That's good. Which means there'll be no slip. Hmm. Oh, I don't want a tinkle racing suit. No, it's... What do we got? Wait, was that guy's name Massive Doo Doo? Okay, I think our money should be on Massive Doo Doo, don't you think? Player left. Ooh, that's interesting. See some interesting effects of catch up on this. And frame rate, probably, because, you know, the identical cars here. Almost took the horn off. A lot of curbing going on, man. Wow. I think that guy did a little too much curbing. A lot of curb boosts. that you gain that much from the curb boost. I mean, I know you can gain a good bit from frame rate, but... Right now, I think it's more important that I be lined up properly for this jump. Ooh, it's a little drifty. So why am I closing? That's interesting. I know this isn't going to take all these turns flat out. 
Even in the best handling cars, these turns are too tight. But it's non contact, so at least we don't have to worry about the crisscross. Yeah, it was as hard as I could push it. It was almost scraping the wall. It's an interesting thing is that I'm, I'm making passes and then people are rushing up on me that makes no sense. I don't think I've made really any any kind of critical mistakes on this. So, I mean, this is kind of a good illustration where you're looking at identical cars in some places, some cases here. I don't think, you know, even even I was doing the curb boosting and it wasn't really having an effect, so I don't know. This guy's looking to pass me and I can't really do much about it. Except just outpace him. That was weird. But sometimes, you know, you've seen some of the stuff I've done with uh, Banker Jones. It's, you know, sometimes it's your setup. Your computer setup. So 327, I didn't, you know, I didn't crash anything there. That's, that was a good run. Godson J. Okay, how do we do here? Comparing to my usual. I did get a 316 in a Krieger. I could see that. The Krieger's a good handling one. One of those turns might have bought me enough. Interesting. Fine, I'll like it so we can move on. Okay, I'll back everybody up with Downtown Loop. Keep going from super to super to super to super. I'm just glad to have found a pack of people to, to, to race with. It's hard to do anymore. You end up a lot of times giving up the hope. <coughs> I think he's going to try and hold out for more peoples. Someone wants three laps. That's excessive. So certain you are that you're going to win. Mm. The best seven. Just to say XO. It's not necessarily Krieger all the way, because Krieger doesn't have as good a top speed. It just handles better. That's what I'm going with. No one said Emrys. They're just that little bit tricky to drive. So you're the guy who's probably going to win, but we'll see. That's a massive doo-doo. Maybe we top hat this time. So, Krieger versus XO. This looks like it could be a bumpy big bump by Strowan. I get hit in the first turn, aren't I? Well, close though. Hitting the second turn. Krieger is four wheel drive, so it might have an acceleration uh, advantage. Well, this is getting dicey.
This is either going to end well or badly, but nowhere in between. Come on, a little over the top overtake. Are we going to Goomba Stomp? Ooh, something didn't end well there. I like I was considerate. See, the Krieger owned me on that turn. Whoa! I got wrecked into him. I was holding my own, but he directed me into him there. Okay, come on, XO. Oh, dear. Well, you squeezed me out on that one. Like, he was trying to run me into the wall. You do that, you get what you get. You gotta give a little room. Okay, so I've had a number of incidents here. One where I got wrecked into God Sanjay, then I got wrecked by God Sanjay. No one's given room. I think those guys are using a little bit of slip to their advantage. I'm going to Goomba Stomp this guy. Oh, wait. That's not something you normally see in pubs. There's not a lot of room here. Got the overspeed. XO. Taking it to those Kriegers. Did I overshoot? Nope. They're going to have the advantage in the turns, though. Someone's got the slip. They're coming up on me. Somebody else. It's a lot of explosions in this one. Okay, we're, we're closing up on the lead pack here. At least some of the lead pack. Ooh! Well, that was almost a disaster. I make the pass. See, I give room. I'm not trying to squeeze anybody out. Breaks. See, that's where the Krieger will shine, as on turns like that. I'll get him again on the straights. It's an interesting kind of back and forth. Maybe I'll get him on the straights. We've got another turn coming up. I've closed back in. Man, didn't get top five. Nah, eh, number of incidents though, you know. No problem. No problem, I'm not looking for the thing. Hopefully he's not being sarcastic. So there we are. Yeah, that was not my best. Best by anything. Banshee 900. 202. Really? What we doing now? Okay, I, I will. I do like a chili out every once in a while. This this could be spectacular.
This is always a bloodbath in the first couple turns. If I'm at the back, you hang back. If I'm at the front, try to stay ahead of it. If you're in the middle, you know, good luck. That's that's the essence of Shiliad. Duh. And it's a point to point. It's short. You know, it's not it's not like you're gonna get a lot of time to make up. You know, for for bad things happening. If you can stay get out in front, stay out in front. Life is good. They're giving it as much time as they can, but this is all we're going to get. Again, hoping I don't get so much RP. Oh, make a liar out of me. Um, I get so much RP that I lose my 777, because that's kind of cool. I just want to do these set of races, and then kind of let the... Go back to playing with the Rusty Jack side of things. Absolutely continue. That, that's a lot. That's a lot of races. Okay. Non-contact does kind of save us here. Now it's just a matter of how, much, how good of your own line can you make. Hey, no one put it to the outside. That's good. No one wrecked. I think that guy's wrecking. <laughs> so we're flat out. It's going to be interesting to see. I don't know if this could take the, the, the next turn flat out. We're going to... No, we can't, no, we can't, no, we can't, no, we can't, no, we can't. Oh, hell. That's the race. But we, this is the first time I've taken this on Chiliad, and it's, uh... There are... I thought... I really thought it might be able to do it, but no. And by the time I realized it had too much momentum, the moment had passed before I could do anything. At least it was visually interesting. I don't know. Can we make up any positions? We're not going to win. Not even close. The EXO does require you to drive it. It's not it's not on rails. It's not I mean the Krieger would probably do better on something with, with this many turns, but Okay, to acceleration for sure, okay. Wow, six twice in a row, I think, is what we're looking at here. There's this guy stunting out. Whoa, why am I kick? Why did it kick me that way? Yeah, we're not going to be able to take advantage of that guy stunting out because we're going in sideways for sixth. Yay! It does go a bit tail happy though. Ah, the RE7B. That was such. 
the, he was the king for so long, especially when he had that killer top speed for the. They nerfed to that. That's a stock one too. Or he just hasn't changed the rear wing. Massive doo doo one. With his doo dooness. I don't know what Jurbami Napad Sig Wigzig Robzid is. I don't know. I don't even know what the language that is. Yeah, I agree. With more straights than, you know, the XO is going to... It's a lot like... To a great extent, it's a lot like uh, a beefier form of the uh, X80 Proto. Although, I don't know, the X80 Proto might be able to outhandle it turning a certain way. Like, it's depending on which side of your map you're on, it'll, you'll outhandle it one way or another, but... It depends on which side of the map, whether you get... Increased traction turning left or turning right, which is an interesting thing. Thanks, Bruffy. I'm not stealing Bruffy Thunder anytime soon, Joe. I'm not too worried about it. His thunder rolls. Man's going for a PhD in monetization. <laughs> Literally, no, I'm not that's not like an expression. The Floriner. As opposed to the foreigner, the Floriner. Does that mean you're a florist? You got a florist on call? Comic break. Hmm. Oh, he left. So I'm not. I'm not trying to race the floor in there. No, we're not. Okay, where's the floor in there? There you are. Clack. What do you think? I think I wish I could unbutton my top button. As opposed to the whole shirt. Again, I'm not picking like best car for the track. I'm just I'm just driving my uh, matchbox inspired car. Give a little room here. Someone's doing the jump across everything. Oh, I thought I was going to jump over that. That was in trouble there. I think I've done that once before with this car. I've done it with a car. I don't. I think it might have been with the with the blue Torero XO. Ooh. A little bit of a wiggle there. Do you, you ever get the impression that some of these tracks feel like they're made out of a, a cardboard by a kid for his matchboxes? Which is not a bad thing. I mean, it's just... Oh, dearie my! Almost a Goomba stomp, but... Oof. That was a hard hit. 
Defender? Okay, this is bad. This is very bad. Brakes are not going to be enough. The car tends to fly, and it's... It, you, you forget. Usually you have enough time to can pull that in. Did I do it again? I did it again. You gotta be kidding me. It's You're not lined up center on this. So you have to go over here. So that you can be lined up closer to... Oh dear, I overcorrected. But not as bad. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I have completely screwed up any chance I have for being competitive in this race. I was done with a flourish. Oh, we could try to do something with a good lap. If if it's a multiple lap thing, even I don't even know. Are we doing point to point on this, or are we doing two laps? Now we're getting multiple laps, but oh my goodness, is this ugly? Okay. Now we're gonna try and do better. I already feel like this is not gonna be my best lap ever. What happened there? There was like a wiggle. Get it? No. That's twice I've I've leaped off the track with this. But did you notice that? Like there was like a it went it went wiggle. I wasn't making it wiggle. Fairly certain I'm in last at this point. This is this is flying right into the wall. Wait a minute, where is it? Did I get it? Yeah. Thought I missed the checkpoint altogether. Uh, I am not doing the EXO... Doing it well. I'm not driving it well this time, folks. Well, I DNF. That's a possibility. Which, I mean, I kind of deserve it the way I drove this race. This was just terrible. At least I lined it up right on this one. You have a long way to go, though. Yeah, I, I think it's going to take me more than 28 seconds. That first lap was just completely horrible. Nymph. I don't do a lot of DNFs, but that, that one was well-deserved. Yeah, that was last place. Yeah. 
I did. I kept yeeting. I think that's the proper use of yeet. I am Gen X, so it's not really my turn, but... Canyon Crossing. Oh. This is the wrong track for this. But we're sticking to the theme. I only have one or two races left here, as it is. This might be it. I'm going to have to move on. Have to get a move on. Sometimes you gotta get a move on. And a move on is what I gotta get. Let's see, Massive Doo Doo's still in there. Oh! Godson Jane's gone. I guess he had to get a move on. This is loading up. Standard race. Two laps. Everything's turned on. I don't like my chances, honestly. If I switch to my Krieger, maybe. But that's th the whole point of me doing any of this is to drive the XL. So we're going to drive the XL. Let's see who we got. Who's here? See, now you got to like, hold on. Not only is it, you know, the, the underwear is one thing. But the feather, to give it that 20s kind of flare. That kind of crazed flapper. Should we do the random spin just to see who gets it? I haven't made my buddy Joe nauseous in a while. I have to do that. I have to call him. I haven't talked to him in a while. I'm at the back. The back. There's not a lot of room here. I had nowhere to go. I think I helped him out. Those guys tried to do the Malachi crunch on me and... I don't even think it was intentional. Oh dear, we might have a Goomba Stomp coming up. Fade right. Oh, I don't, rem I don't think I've ever missed that turn, but this thing really does push. I that was I lifted and everything, and it just kept going. Yeah, it does. It does tend to push. Whoa! What I hit? <laughs> can we drive down to this? Yes, we can. Okay. So I'm still learning the XO. Okay, so that's. And I'm giving it entirely too much credit for turning. And then what does turn turn is too much. You go from heavy understeer steer to snap over steer. These are not qualities you necessarily want in a car. I am having less problems than him though, so that's Ooh. This is a very trolley track. It's not one of my favorites. Oh, man. See? I just held on to it, and then it came around on me as I tried to correct back. 
I should be able to outdrag the, the flow runner. That Tempest has no top end. That's the one thing I got going for me is top end. Oh dear. When, are we going to come down in the water? I don't know if I've ever had a car fly that far on this trip. Okay. Last lap, clean lap. Let's do this. I lifted it all there. I was afraid. This time I'm lifting before there. Yeah, I'm, I'm driving it more gingerly here through that. You kind of have to. Then take advantage of all the power. Alright, I had help there. He hurt himself more than he, he hurt me, so... Now we're just on it. Off it. Float it. Get into the tube and unwind it. Be so careful your your position on this or you go right into the rocks. This is bad. This is very bad. Oh, that was close. This is gonna be a tough pass. I'm not one of those guys who, who practices doing the wall ride around the turn. Those guys amaze me. I'm always impressed. Not a thing I do. Okay, if I come down on the road, we might be able to do an overtake. Turn! Oh! <laughs> I yeeted it too much. Oh, thank you. Down, get down on it. Seventh. At least we finished. That was terrible. Last couple of races have been terrible. Definitely not playing to the uh, the XO's strengths. We need Green Machine. They think Green Machine. There's only a few turns on there where you have to watch. I mean, the the XO is not going to be my go-to for all situations and all things. It's just a matter of. Tristanza is pretty darn good. If you can hang on to it. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, you think we got one more in us? Maybe. It depends on what comes up. Oh, LM87. That was a good. Hack crew, don't ramming, noobs. Heck, clan with noob rammers. Vespucci. All right. I was very amateurish on that, but Vespucci. Totally wrong track for this car. This is a track for my LM87, but do I have one? I don't even have one on this character. I only got the one on the other one. Non-contact. Two laps of his spooky. Well, that's a fitting way to close out the video. Okay, XO on Vespucci. That's what we're going to do. 
definitely not my best chance on this one. I'm going to have to be off the throttle most of this. Non-contact will help, but this is all curves. It's going to be like almost a full boat. Full boat. Kick you idiot and reported. Reported for what? Crashing into you on a, cra on a track? Oh. That's allowed. It's it's non-contact. What? Oh, it, you, these ticked a bunch of people off. I'll say the heck with this. Bye bye, hack crew. I don't know. I guess I wasn't in it enough to know what was going on in the last one, but rather than me just yeeting myself off places, let's see. Can we do better here? Driving it like it's the only car I've got. The purpose of making it non-contact is that you beat the hack crew, not kick them. Hacker, is that even an expression? Is that a thing? Okay, here we go. This is going to be... I'm just going to drive my own race and see what it'll do. I'm not worried about winning. Because, like, I immediately have to back out of this first turn. I mean, it could just very well be... I need to learn the limits on the XO. I backed out of that. Will it land? Yes. I know you gotta back out of jumps on this track. Regularly. And you can't take the turns maxed out all the time either. Yeah, the, the Krieger's gonna toast me on this. Because it could take those turns with a hell of a lot more speed. But if you can keep it clean, then you can then you can finish well. Because Vespucci will eat all the other cars. It's just such a troll track. One of the trolliest of the troll tracks. With jumps that are designed to kill you. That won't last, I don't think. Second. See so here, line yourself up. Lift, lift. See, so yeah, if I'd gone flat out there, I would have gone to drink. I raced a lot of Vespucci, not because I like it. Because it comes up a lot, because people, once you get to learn the track, they want to get other people on that track so that they can beat them with the track. I really took that ginger because I didn't like the way I, I was lined up on it. I did not want to yeet myself into the water again. That was weird. Let's see if this guy knows how to break.
I don't know if that's my personal best. Sometimes it just says that to make you feel better, but... If it is, then I'm impressed. Again, gingerly. I'm not worried about holding second, although I'm impressed I'm still in second. I just want to make sure that I don't end up, you know, yeeting this thing into the, the stratosphere and then ending up last. Krieger, that's pretty inevitable. It's an interesting thing. I'm, I'm doing better now that I'm not put, trying to push it to the absolute limits anymore. I'm just, I probably am pushing it to the absolute limits. What it can do. I'm just trying to keep it neat. Doing better keeping it neat. Whoa. Tried to do a little bit of a curve boost there and it almost cost me. Wow. Yeah. That was like dancing around a little bit on the jump. Lined it up well though. Scared me. I just like these. I put this car in the water too much this session. I don't want to put it in the water anymore. I don't want it wet. Okay, I sent it on that one. I like the lineup on it. I don't know what that guy's? What's the floor in her doing? Keep it on the wheels! I think third is about as good as we can hope for. Not a bad third in the end result. Is that guy waiting? For what? For me? For what? No, I don't think I pulled off the second in the end result there. I will laugh if I did. I don't know what that guy was doing. What what are you doing? Florida's got a stock car, I think. Well, that could be his tires. Yeah, third. That's third is where I should have been. That falls under the heading of not a bad showing at the end. I tracked it really wasn't designed for that car. 219, yeah, we weren't pulling. You know, like, GG guys. Gotta go. And I do. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I had a fun time with my Truvero XO. Hope you enjoyed it as well. And on this note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. The most common cause of PTSD for those living in the Grand Sonora region. That's funny. I think. Okay, so now a quick epilogue here. It's my other XO. What do I do here? I mean, that is the classic Lambo. But then when, you, when you're driving, the other, the other spoiler still comes up. And I don't know. Do you gain a bonus from having two of them? Ford Super Wing. You see, nothing really changes until you get to none. So that, if we go Ford Wing just like the other one, does it look better? Cleaner? It looks better when this comes up. I think I think that's a, a worthy detail here. We did it. You can always change it back. 
Okay, this has the potential to be funny at least. Funny bicycle accidents over a long period of time. There's even a chance for a complete failure. We got three miles of this to go up with. Do we finally get the doors closed? Not my help. In the face. Oh, we got generic music when I turn the radio off. That's I think I'd rather risk the DCMA. That kind of works for us because now there's a car across the road. Yeah. <laughs> A couple down, but we're really low on the supplies here. A lot of biker chicks, I notice. Yeah, having the doors closed doesn't seem to be helping us. Okay, we're gonna go for the yeet here. The cross country yeet. I'm now just officially screwing with the NPCs. that worked? We only got a little supplies left though. I don't know that it matters. I think we're clear. Oh, they don't hit anything. And say goodbye to the generic music. Yay! Rumba, 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 rumba. Okay, I just noticed this here. What's that? To collect the LD Organics product. 
Do I want to do this? That's oh, just one of those things. Oh, that's just another one of those things. <laughs> 